Craig, at 9-11, uh, the anniversary of that 20-year anniversary is coming up on Saturday. And, and I was talking to Baggy the other day and Roger on Saturday at, at the Skeeters game about just what they remember most about when all that happened and, and you being from New York. Uh, what was that like for you uh, on that day? Uh, you know, that was uh, it was a hard day right there. I remember we had the uh, wives gala the night before. And then uh, the morning uh, of the attack, um, you know, I just remember my phone blowing up and then obviously uh, turned on the news that morning. Um, didn't see the first one, but then saw the second one go in. And then, um, you know, that's personal. That's where, you know, I'm, I, I wasn't a city boy. I was a Long Island boy, but New York is New York. And, uh, and you know, it's where you're raised. And, and uh, you know, it's just uh, – it was devastating. I just never remember, never remember, you know, you just, you never forget the feeling you had because you're sitting there watching it and you can't believe what you're actually watching on TV and happen it unfold right in front of you. It was crazy. Was it just kind of a, uh, at least for me, it was kind of a numbing feeling because you're just, at least for me, I was just staring at the TV like what, what just happened here? Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, you just couldn't really believe what was going on and, and obviously, you know, an attack on your own soil. Um, and, and, uh, and then you just, you're just glued to the television all day long and, and you're watching, you know, the whole thing unfold. And then you're, you're just thinking about the lives of the people, people trying to get out, the rescuers trying to get in and, and just, you know, um, you know, again, it was, it, it, it was hard. It was really hard. What was it like? Uh, because, and I don't know exactly, how long a, there was the, the time frame between uh, when play stopped and you guys resumed, but um, how difficult was that to actually get back into baseball when, when you know the whole I mean, all of the country was still, uh, you know, hurting from what happened, yet it was time to play again after that, that time off? Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, it was, it was uh, you know, I remember um, – and we were in Chicago, and you know, and we're standing side by side with the firemen and the police department, and then you know watching Sammy Sosa run out the right field with the flag, and and I mean, when we came back and played, the feeling it was America needed it. You know what I mean? They they needed us to go back out there and play. We needed to go back and play, but we needed the you know I, I just remember all of us just coming together you know, as one, you know what I mean? We, I, I think sometimes we get caught up doing our own different things all the time. And then obviously we have something, an attack like that happen. And then you just watch America come together and, and then through sports and then just, you know, Sammy Sosa having the flag on his hat and going out to the outfield and then the crowd just going crazy, you know, and you just seeing the firemen and, and the police department that you're standing there with, you know, do the national anthem, you know, the national anthem to me was personal. I never, I, I probably missed four or five of them my whole career. And, mm. you know, it was, I'm, I'm, you know, I love being American and I love the national anthem, but you, you, you stand there for the national anthem from there on out from year on and year in after that, uh, it, you know, it definitely uh, special. When you look back at that, particularly that first game or maybe first few games, really, when you guys resumed, do you, do you, can you, visualize that right now i mean you mentioned uh, sosa and everything and just looking up to the stand knowing what it, probably what it meant for those that were in attendance yeah 100 uh, percent. you just re you just remember it just you know we might have different uniforms on we're just trying to win a baseball game but yet again we're just trying to come together and trying to heal also and um yeah. you know playing a sport was part of the healing process for um you know for everybody even you know the guys that had the uniforms on and uh you know it was it was hard and i you know and again i i think one of the coolest things is that when you look back on the whole thing when president bush went out and threw out the first pitch i mean it guy gives me goosebumps still thinking about it i mean that was like that he he was he's a cool cool guy man <laughs> um i was asking uh, uh, roger saturday and i guess he he actually knew some people that were uh, in either one or both of the towers, were you personally affected at all, or maybe new friends that had uh, people that that perished there? I did. I had a kid that uh, a, a guy I went to high school with, um, and I guess what the story is, he he, he got to the roof of uh, I think it was the first mm -hmm. tower. So, um, 
But I do want to say while we're talking about it, though, I went back to 9-11 um, after it happened, like probably a month after it had happened and the season was over. And then I went back when they rebuilt everything. And I'm going to tell you, everybody, if if you've never been there, you need to go. Mm. You just need to go as an American just to go see it. And um, it's it's – they did an amazing job. It's, it's, you know, just, it's incredible to, you know, see what they did over there. And I, and, and I remember when we we're going through the whole thing and, and there's thousands of people, but just how quiet was, it was qu- how respectfully quiet. I mean, there's thousands of people going through, you know, the nine 11 and then, and then it was just how quiet it was. And I mean, I think if you've never been there before and you go to New York city, you should put it on your list to go, Go see that. Well, I guess, is it hard to imagine uh, um, that it's been 20 years? I mean, it, does it seem like it's, it was just yesterday that, that it happened? Yeah, uh, it does. You know, and obviously every September 11th, you know, it's, it's on the History Channel and it, it, it's coming on all the time. And, and you know, again, you know, I, I grew up in uh, my father was a, a air traffic controller. My brother was an air traffic controller. So my brother was part of the, uh, you know, the air traffic control system that after it had happened to kind of, you know, he was a little bit up on the list and had to kind of shut the down, shut the planes down, you know, talk to the White House. He was part of that team uh, of doing that. And um, so, I mean, um, you know, every September 11th, I mean, I think it brings back memories for everybody. Well, Craig, appreciate you carving out a few minutes, man, to kind of uh, recollect uh, your memories. I know it's uh, everybody, I, it's good to talk about it. And obviously with the 20 years, uh, it's a big deal, this uh, letter this week on Saturday. So, Thanks for the time, man.